Welcome to how to make a fashion blog with WordPress and today you're going to learn how to make a website that is similar to this one styleinchic.com and it is a WordPress based website looks like this okay so the first thing I like to do when I'm setting up a blog is I first go to Google and I search for godaddy.com coupon code um, 2015 reason I do that is because I mean you get to pay less for the domain name and the website that I really like is either the top two so we tell me not in coupons.com that those two websites are the ones when I'm setting up either a domain name for myself or usually for a client so go ahead and click coupons.com and they're saying that you can get a 99cent.com domain at GoDaddy you might just cry those tears of joy so let me click and go get code copy so I've already come up with the domain name you want something that's short that's catchy and that's brandable so this one's so chic soulglam.com and then search the domain success your domain is available so be buy it before someone else does usually if you find a domain that you really like guys go ahead and get it because the next day you could type in the same domain name and find out that someone else has it so I've learned the hard way so I'm definitely getting this one so so chic so glam is available I'm gonna click continue okay so one thing you'll notice with GoDaddy is they have all these extra additions that you can put in your cart you really do not need them so just go ahead and say no thanks hosting no thanks email no thank you just continue to the card I'm gonna notice that it says that you should register this for five years some people can register it. I usually like to put it for a year put in your promo code apply okay promo has been added okay now if you scroll to the right you'll notice that your total is mine is a dollar 74 Canadian so proceed to checkout when you're done registering your domain name you're gonna see a screen similar to this one what you want to do is now you're gonna find the hosting company so hostgator is a good choice that's what I've been using since 2010 and also Bluehost is also equally as good even I think slightly better and I've heard good things about them so Bluehost you could try or Hostgator so I'm going to show you through Hostgator because that's what currently I'm with you will notice once you scroll to the bottom it says choose a plan there's three different plans so you have the hatchling plan the baby plan and the business plan of the baby plan since 2010 I will click on that since you've already registered a domain name with the domain name provider GoDaddy in our case uh, you don't need to go and register another one you don't need to go there so just click I already own this domain name put in your domain name so the one that we just registered is so chic so glam glam.com so and then you want to click choose a hosting plan we already decided it's the baby plan now you will notice on the billing cycle it does say 36 months but you can go ahead and go for the 36 months if that's what you want however for me I just go down to the one month because if you select the 36 months you are going to be billed a lump sum at the end just keep that in mind username you can put any name chic babe 88 or something like that and go down and security pin 
put in your pin number that's not my actual pin number but let's just keep rolling so a four digit four five six up to eight characters long it will be used to verify your ownership if you do contact customer support for that it's very important you can write it down or you can just remember it so and then next one just put in your first and last name email fill out all these different areas and payment type i go paypal i pay with my paypal account i don't like putting it on credit card because i just like to pay things in cash as much as possible that way okay and secure and accelerate your site do you really need that you can go ahead and click these are additions as well so you don't need that site backup to cloud you do not need this at this moment just want a simple website for now if you did want those things you can add them later on but at this time to simplify everything in terms of expenses and process it asks you to enter a coupon code you can go ahead and use my coupon code optional and then get 25% your hosting for the first month so go ahead or however many months you choose you will get 25% off in total so go ahead and click and enter ace blogger then it's gonna give you 25% when you completely sign up. As you'll see in review order details, it does show you the amount taken off. So 25% off of $9.95, it took off $2.49 and for the grand total of seven dollars and 46 cents now you want to click on i have read the terms services and the privacy policy even though most people do not read these things you can go ahead and then click check out now now i'm not gonna go through with it because i do already have an account after successfully signing up with the hosting account what you're gonna do is you know they will send you an email with all the login details that you'll need to get into your control panel so that's called the c panel that's what i was talking about earlier so once you get there this is the main interface you want to take a look at where it says name server you will need to post them one at a time so just copy one Next up, just go back to your GoDaddy account. It may have logged you out. That's okay. Just log back in. And you will need to change the name server. So just click on name servers on the domain name that you want. Click on the name server manage. Window will pop up or a pop up comes up. You want to click on custom domain because you are putting in different domain names you're gonna put in what we copied here so yes it does have to be in the same order that it is in the hosting account click on enter custom name servers okay you want to place both name servers here so just paste it in Go back, grab the other one, copy, and go back, and just paste that in, click OK, that will save it, and then click Save again. That's it, you're done. So it may take a few minutes to a few hours for some of you for this change to take place, but this is absolutely essential for you to get your website properly running so your blog will not be hosted at your hosting account if you do not take this step so everything that we do now in hostgator should work as a result but if you did it incorrectly this will not work make sure everything is copied and pasted in the order that it is in the hosting panel after you have changed those name servers from the previous step 
what you want to do next is you want to scroll down in your interface and go down to where it says add on domains so that's where you want to go and click on add on domains and we're going to go ahead and add the domain name that we signed up with so so chic so glam dot com just like so and then you know it's gonna fill itself out just click tab or just click on and then put in your password you will not need to remember this password but it is necessary so and then after you're done just click add domain Okay, and once this step is successful, it's going to read that the add-on domain SoChicSoGlam.com has been created as well as the FTP account SoChicSoGlam has also been created. And now what you want to do is you want to go back to the home page. Okay, and... Okay, so once at the home page, what you want to do is again scroll down and find the oh, this is the quickest way to install your wordpress now we will be using wordpress for this so click on the quick install button kind of looks like a clock with an arrow with it once you reach the quick install page this is what you're gonna see is the interface of that and what you're gonna do is install wordpress on this domain name now that you have clicked on the wordpress uh, quick install this is where we put the we install the wordpress onto the blog itself and attach this to the domain name it is you want to make sure that the right domain name is selected and as you can see that's the domain name of our choice Put in your email address, put in your blog title, your admin or username, and after you're done, just click install now. If you're not ready to make that payment or that investment, go ahead and use a free theme for now. So you would be done at this point, but if you want to go further and get a premium theme, I love premium themes because you get more of a greater selection and my two favorite companies to buy themes from is studio press and theme forest the theme i decided to go with for my blog is the brennis theme from themeforest.net and as you can see it's uh, reason why i like it is because it it reminds me of a high-end blog slash magazine website just a quick look here this is how it looks like so you can see it is very clean you can optimize it social icons it has a Facebook box has all these different things that you can do to it and it is very simple not to mention responsive so um, other people can view it even though they're using an iPad or iPhone or any other kind of smartphone so yes that's how it looks like and when you do purchase the Brennis theme or any other theme like that from Theme Forest, it is going to be seen in the download section. So you will have a tab, just go down home my account and then go to the download tab and then you will see that there it is, Brennis theme. So just click on download and just installable WordPress files only and then click OK. It is going to show up on the download area of your computer and then now what we want to do is we want to actually install the theme. Just go back to your WordPress dashboard and then what you will do is just add new theme, the circle with the plus sign and go ahead and click upload theme. Now browse for the files. Okay, so this here was the theme forest open it and click on install now so once you've clicked install now it should just begin to load the theme onto your wordpress and afterwards it will say that the theme was installed successfully now you can go ahead and click activate the theme and as you'll see there it is so go ahead to your website open link and voila, 
that's how you upload a theme now all you have to do is just add fresh content and customize the theme however which way you choose okay so what you want to do to get the logo on the home page is you want to go back to the dashboard appearances click on theme options and you will be led to this page and then what you do unclick the enable text logo this will permit you to put in your own logo i save mine as logo.png and it's as you could see there it is it has a transparent background once you've uploaded image click on upload image if you've made a mistake or if your logo is too big or too small you could always remove it resize it and re-upload the image and then afterwards what you want to do is click on save changes so how to make the image slider that you do see on the home page is you would need to go ahead and go to just let's go back to the dashboard I'll walk you through it so just go over to where it says sliders right there if you do not have a slider you will need to click add new however this website already has a slider so I named it home page just click on edit and let's just click on one of these so to add the image slider for example the first one as you could see this is how the first one was added it's a click show all right so you want to make sure that you have a title so Olivia out and about with boyfriend so alt text should be you know describe what the picture is about and make sure that you have a link URL to the slider because when people click on it it should take them to the destination post on your blog and so what you want to do is have an image size that's a, at least 620 by 360 just so that it fits in the uh, home page slider and looks presentable and include your slide title slide caption and the url again to the post that you're referring to and after you're done just click save all change this is the same exact slider and that's how you would format it to fit to the home page once everything is finished you can upload the gallery of slides and then click on update so you might be wondering how do i get the image featured image to show up so clearly at the front page such as what i have here and on other different posts showcasing what the post's about so how do you do that so you go back and then you click on posts and so we'll just go with the first one since that's what I'm showing you on. So you get that featured post is quite simple. Just go to featured image and then it should, had there not been an image there, it should have said add featured image. Go ahead and add the featured image. I believe the sizing for this one, make it 300 by 180 so that it could fit in the featured image box and that's it that's how you add the featured image when it comes to adding content to your blog what you want to do is since this is not a personal fashion and style blog it does include photos from other blogs and other people so you always just want to credit the source that you found the photos from for example with this current post as you'll see I have links to where the pictures were found there is the source for that photo and vice versa it's just good etiquette and also to prevent any copyright infringement it's just good to just credit the source of your photos and if you're wondering how I got the ads on the sidebar here what you would need to do is you need to go to the appearances I believe and then widgets all you need to do is just put in the HTML code on the sidebar as well as the blog sidebar all these things so yeah that's how you get the you know the sidebars to show up the way they are and at the bottom as well so 
that is all done through the widget area thank you so much for making it to the end of the video and i hope you found this video useful in terms of helping you start your very own fashion blog a beauty blog or any other kind of blog for that matter and i will go ahead and link below with uh, 11 different wordpress themes that you can also try if you are starting a fashion blog lifestyle blog or beauty blog you can go ahead and have a look at these 11 themes also place a link to the 12 must have WordPress blog plugins because I feel personally and I know that WordPress does work better if you have plugins installed. Now you don't need too many or else it slows down your website. So the 12 essential plugins will also be linked in the description. And thank you again for watching the video. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I will be sure to answer them. And have a great day.